laser light therapy presented by the Orbison Natural Health Centre. I have extensive experience over the past 23 years in giving a wide range of treatments including acupuncture, quantum and scalar. Trained at the Russian Space Medicine Center in Moscow with Professor Gorodetsky. My first encounter with the laser started with my brother Paul and the choices he made. He was diagnosed with carcinoma in, in situ due to working in Africa in the Bilharzia region and it was recommended that he had his bladder removed along with his ureters. So what would you do if you had an aggressive cancer and were told one in five bladders did not need to be removed and one in 20 die from the operation. Most people go along with the operation. However, Paul telephoned me. He, most people take refuge in the convention when faced with a crisis. And in order to establish rapport, it can be wise to go along with what they want. So they wanted to have the oper so Paul wanted to have the operation and whilst waiting for chemotherapy to start, I advised him to check his acid alkali balance and change his diet, avoiding orange caffeine alcohol, drinking willow water, taking colloidal silver, and treat the projections of pain with his interex and scalar. So Paul discussed the, the option of having laser treatment in Germany with his consultant and he said and the consultant said uh, to try it out and if it didn't work uh, when he returned to England he could have his bladder removed. So we both went to Germany to Dr. Giesen's uh, treatment centre and here is the laser that we used to treat my brother's bladder cancer. So I assisted Dr. Giesen in his clinic, gave him the treatment and Paul recovered very well. He was able to walk around normally, eat normally. Uh, after each session, we had five sessions a day, five sessions a week and um, no problems whatsoever, very comfortable. The result was that we got the biopsy report back saying that the cancer was completely clear, kinda carcinoma in situ, so no cancer and he's, he's been fine and well for the last 12 months and back at work He's had biopsies to prove that it's, it's remained clear. So why laser light? Laser, laser light's coherent, whereas conventional light is all mixed up. And so it can penetrate deeply and effectively in tissues. So this is showing how laser light absorbs in biological tissue the depth of penetration the effects of, of low level laser light therapy it's not burning like the sort of uh, conventional lasers that, that, that are used for surgery so it's completely safe you can shine it in your eyes Healthy cells do not show any change, whereas unhealthy cells are energetically regenerated. 
with therapeutic influence on nearly all diseases in medicine. The human body is composed of about 10 trillion cells, uh, performing all the functions that we need in our body. So inside these cells are mitochondria, which produce the energy that we need. And we, uh, an average person produces 40 kilograms of ATP, which is the chemical energy that our body needs. So this is showing how the ATP, the chemical energy is produced from glucose producing one glucose molecule producing 34 molecules of ATP. These are the laser needles that we use. And then can be used to treat acupuncture points. So this, this particular patient has um, cysts on the bladder or on the liver. So these are liver points. And also you can give the treatment intravenously directly into the bloodstream. So we can give energy to the body. Also in the navel area is a very important point, acupuncture point for, for um, the fire energy, increasing the fire energy, the energy of life in your body so that all the meridians and energies of the body are reinvigorated and all the cells in the body. So here's a, here's a cancer patient, the blood of a cancer patient observed underneath the microscope that we have at the Natural Health Centre showing the blood is very sticky and also the presence of parasites. After 10 sessions we're getting healthy looking blood cells and no parasites. She doesn't need painkillers anymore for her bone cancer and feeling a lot better, better energy. And here's a, a, a patient with, who has MS, has had 10 sessions, uh, blood has, cl has cleared up nicely but we've still got some uric acid crystals there and some uh, cholesterol and platelet aggregation here uh, even so he can he took his first steps after two or three years and blood pressure came down nicely from I mean, diastolic of over 200 down to 140 during the course of treatments, better blood circulation, better mobility.